Welcome to the first video tutorial of Soshi Sind. In this video I'll be showing you around the system and showing you exactly how everything fits in and the very first thing that I want to bring to your attention is the ad accounts. As you can see from these social sites down here, these are the sites that the system supports. Now if you want to benefit from backlinks from these sites then it's very important that you yourself add the accounts yourself as well. So if you want to benefit from a backlink from a Blinklist connection, then it's very important that you add a Blinklist connection yourself. Likewise for Blogger, bookmark for you Digo and Delicious. So if you want your content to get syndicated to Delicious, then it's very important that you yourself add a Delicious account yourself as well. Now the most time consuming part about the system is to actually set up the accounts. So just take a little bit of time to actually set up these accounts because once they are set up, then the system really is hands free. If you've already got accounts yourself that are already signed up for, then you can feel free to add them accounts yourself. If not, you can set up a brand new account and add that to the system. It's entirely up to you. Um, users you know, prefer to add their own existing accounts and some users prefer to create a brand new account for this system. So the very first thing that we should be doing is adding our accounts. After we've added our accounts, we want to go over to the settings area. On the settings section, guys, we want to be adding our death by capture details. Now, the death by capture details are required as some of these sites down here, when you actually submit them, they prompt you to solve a capture. So we actually send over the captures to death by capture to get them capture solved. And after that, guys, what you want to be doing is going over to my campaigns and you want to be setting up campaigns. When you set up campaigns, guys, a pro tip is to have at least about four campaigns. And inside of the campaigns, you want about three to four posts. The more you have, the better. And the whole reason behind that is so that the system's always got something in the system or in your account ready to promote for you. Again, you will get different video tutorials taking you through exactly how to create a campaign, how to create feed campaigns, if you can create feed campaigns, and what your limitations are. And depending on whether you are a professional license holder or a light license holder, then you will have different limitations on here as well. And the final thing to do is um, after after all of that is to actually download the submitter. When you download the submitter, it's going to be downloaded as a zip file. You want to unzip the um, the folder. Once you've unzipped the folder, guys, um, then you want to run the um, the the Sochi exe. When you do start um, the exe, then you should be prompted to add your username and your password for your Sochi Sind account. If you're not, guys, then just go over to your taskbar, look for the icon, and then go over to right click it and click on change login. Add your login details um, and after you've had your login details it should sync with our social sin or with your social sin account um, and start to work for you now the final thing that i want to bring to your attention is playing fair um, what we don't want on this system is affiliate links we don't want you to create posts and have the url as your affiliate link or have any um, link back to an affiliate offer on there. The system's not for that. Um, if you want to promote affiliate offers, that's totally fine. However, promote your affiliate offers on your own websites on the Sochi Sin system, promote your actual website. Now, if you owe, if you sell products as a living, you own a store and you, you, um, you sell products by yourself, then that's totally fine. You can create link backs to your own website, but we don't want affiliate links because social media sites won't appreciate affiliate links and it can ri and it puts all of our social accounts at risk because if you create an account, or sorry, if you create a post with an affiliate link on there, it's gonna get sent to all of our accounts, um, which then puts all of our accounts at risk. Now, one thing that we have equipped every submitter with is something known as view reports. Okay, one more thing as well, guys, we don't want add related stuff uh, or adult related material posted on here as well anything that can um, you know that promotes hate hate crimes or um, any adult related material including um, stuff like um, Viagra and um, any, anything else that you can think of that isn't suitable for a youngster um, now we've also got something equipped inside of the submitters known as view reports what this allows you to do is actually have a look at your various connections that you've got inside of the system and have a look and see exactly what's been submitted to them now it's always a good idea to have a look at these um, you can have a look at them on a day-to-day -day basis um, after you've had a look at them and you're happy with them you can just clear report you're not really looking for anything on here guys um, but if you find anything on here that is adult related or anything that's pointing to an affiliate offer so it's an affiliate link then all you have to do is come over 
software and, and scroll over to the right hand side, click on report spam and that will get sent over to our team and we'll take a look into it. If it is spam guys, um, then we'll disable the post and depending on what kind of spam it is um, if it's an affiliate link guys um, then that's very very that's a big no-no there um, and your account could be liable to be terminated um, and um, or or you could be given a warning um, so again guys um, try and keep um, a, a lookout on this maybe once a week so a quick scan through your various connections if you find anything dodgy go ahead and report them um, and that will get sent over to us to deal with. Um, so again, guys, in order, what you want to be doing is add, adding your accounts. When you do add your accounts, guys, or when you are creating your social media accounts, again, you want to be adding an image on there as well, a profile image. You want to be adding a sort a short description about your uh, in the biography section, um, just so that the accounts look more natural um, and not spammy. Okay, so you want to be adding your accounts, you want to be adding your death by capture details, then you want to be adding your campaigns, adding posts inside of your campaigns. Um, after you've added your posts inside of your campaigns, um, you want to be downloading the submitter, um, adding in your login details inside of the submitter, um, and then the system should be configured to run um, automatically when your computer starts and it and the submitter normally completes the whole process within about two hours so it's no um, there's no need to actually have the submitter open for longer than two hours but again you know the way we've designed the submitter guys is once it's completed its process that it's not going to be making any more requests so you can just leave it open and really have it hands-free and not needing to worry about it um, now if you find that your submitter doesn't start when your computer starts um, then right click your submitter um, run it as admin and then the next time your computer starts you should see it start on windows startup okay guys and i'll see you in the next video um, and thank you very much and i really hope you enjoy working with the system